Is there something else I can do for you? Hmm. There's still power, but the casing is cracked. I'm astonished that exposure to the stealth radiation could induce mutations so rapidly. More importantly, this explains why my research into this group of Night Stalkers hasn't come up with a cure for the Nightkin. There's only one avenue left for me. I need to run the Mark II test on Lily. It's the only way. I'll be waiting. Leo thinks there will be lots more chopping to do now that Caesar is dead. I do hope you'll be careful, Pumpkin. The equipment is hooked up and ready. Very well. Please stand back. I don't want any erroneous readings. You're welcome to stay and observe if you want, though. All right, power on the stealth boy, Lily. Turning it on. <sighs> Feels strange. Strange, my God. Interesting. Try thinking aggressive thoughts now. Think about smashing a rad scorpion. Ah, Lily smash! Yeah! How were those readings looking, Calamity? Stealth field is unstable and scrambling things. The reading says gamma wave activity is zero. But that can't possibly be right. Gamma wave activity is zero. That can't be right. Must be a result of the interference. All right, we're done here. Go ahead and power the stealth boy down, Lily. Oh, I liked having it on. I'll get back to you on that in a moment, once I've analyzed the results. Well, Hello. well. Congratulations on getting the Mark II prototype functional, Doctor. Now, just hand it over, and we'll be on our way. Keen has never liked me. If anyone can talk him into backing down, it'll have to be you. My request is perfectly reasonable. Give us the stealth boy specs, and there will be no need for us to splatter the room with your insides. No, I didn't. Not until now, anyway. Very well, human. You've made your point, and I withdraw my request. Nice work with the Nightkin. I've never seen anyone able to talk their kind out of anything once they had their minds set to it. I got a lot of useful data from the experiment, and am a lot closer to a cure than before. It's occurred to me that this brief test might not yield a cure anytime soon. However, if Lily were to continue to wear the prototype...
Very well. It will be worth it, I'm sure. Is there something else I can do for you? Yes, yes. What's up? There's something about that robot. See you. someone else. I don't want anything to do with you. Is there something else I can... I'm intrigued, so I'll go to this reunion. I'll be handing things over... Oh, you'll need my word from the past phrase to get into the bunker. Friends. Don't forget it. Yes, yes. Doc Henry always was a hard one to figure out. It didn't seem to matter whether he was working with humans or dogs. He had an equal lack of affection for both. A regular Diogenes. I'm not sure what the man was after. Knowledge is power, but to what end for Henry, I have no idea. The problem was what mattered to him, not its practical impact. He simply solved riddles because they existed. Not everyone dreams of being a revolutionary, I suppose. Maybe we can't all change the world. Maybe it's enough just to do good for the short time that we're here. No one's going to sing Doc Henry's praises when he's gone, but he's probably saved more lives than I ever will. They say those robots on the strip are... Glad to see you made it here, all right. Then that's the plan. We're gonna have a problem with Moreno, though. He won't like that we're helping the NCR. You'll have to talk to him. You've got only one chance at this. I know Moreno. Once he... 
running around with different faces or something. Don't ask, because I don't know. I didn't come all the way out here just so we could save the fucking NCR. I'm out. I can't believe you've actually talked me into this. <sighs> Fine, I'm in. But don't expect me to hold my fire if any NCR troops get in the way. Thanks for doing this. Getting them all back together again. I'll be honest, when Moreno started going off, I didn't think we'd all be walking out of there in one piece. I still don't know how this is all going to shake out in the end, but at least the Enclave can atone a bit for all the damage it's done. I've been wondering about Daisy and the others for so long, I still haven't figured out what I should do. I mean, I'm not like them. I was born at Navarro, and my father served with them, but I wasn't really part of the Enclave. It seems presumptuous of me to think I could join the fight, even if this is a cause worth fighting for. Because I know when fighting breaks out of the dam, all hell is going to break loose in Freeside. They're going to need every doctor they can get. I honestly didn't expect you to say that. When I talked to you about Daisy and the others, you seem to put a lot of value in loyalty to the past. What's changed since then? True enough, I suppose. Getting them back together must be worth more than me spraying plasma all over the dam. Back to Freeside it is. I need to make a stop before I settle in. I'll be back in a while. Thanks again for your help. It means a lot to me. Moreno's a stubborn son of a bitch, but he's also tougher than any of us. I'm glad you were able to talk him into staying. Since Whitman will be staying with the Vertibird, she's offered to give her old suit of power armor to you. You'll need special training to use it properly, so talk to her as soon as you get the chance. The training might take several hours, so keep that in mind. I appreciate you keeping Orion in the group. Since I won't be needing my armor, makes the cockpit a bit cramped, you should take it. It'll take a few hours to show you how to use it properly. That tower on the strip, the one you can see for miles, I hear it ain't sealed up no more. Like I said, I needed to go do something. This is it. It belonged to my father. I thought I might wear it at Hoover Dam, but after you talked me out of it, I didn't see the point in hanging on to it any longer. I'm here because of you, so I figured you're the one most deserving of it. It should protect you from everything short of a plasma caster. And if you need anything, anything at all, you know where to find me. It's the least I could do. All I ask is that you put it to good use. This place has lived in the shadow of Caesar for long enough. I may not be the one to help stop him here, but you are. Fortis fortuna adiuat. 
Good luck. And goodbye. No offense, but you look like you've traveled a long way down some bad roads. Where'd you come from? Wow, you have come a long way then. I've never been there, but I've met some traders who passed that way. Well, welcome then. I'm Veronica. I live in a hole in the ground. Well, a bunker, if you want to get technical. 
I think it sounds more interesting my way. But I'm not there much anymore. I'm usually out here picking up food and supplies for my family, whatever they need. Yeah, I'm not worried. They can handle themselves. But somebody has to get the groceries, know what I mean? And actually these days, I think they'd rather have me out here anyway. But that's a whole other story. So listen, can I ask you something on the level? I had a run-in with this group calling themselves the Brotherhood of Steel. Pretty strange bunch. Do you know anything about them? Well, that shouldn't be a problem for me. I can't afford anything like that. Hey, so where are you headed anyway? Ooh, very exciting. Gonna strike it rich, huh? I'll be honest. You're the first person I've run across out here that looks like he can really handle himself. There are places I've never been to that'd be too dangerous for just me. Now you're talking. One thing you should know first, though. I ask you about the Brotherhood because I'm one of them. I know, I know, but I had to know how you react when I told you. We have made a lot of enemies. You still okay bringing me along? I'm great at punching people. I'm not gonna lie. Well, thanks for taking a chance on a naive young girl from California with stars in her eyes and a pneumatic gauntlet on her hand. Let's hit the road, huh? Ooh, got something good for me? <gasps> Should've brought something- Aw, just when the sta- What'd you think of Mr. House? I was surprised he only had the two robot sex slaves. I like long walks in the desert. I want... a dress. Yeah, a good one. Something elegant. Something that's eye-catching and sexy, but also says, don't fuck with me. I keep hoping I'll come across some old-world designer gown when I'm scavenging, but it never happens. I would say he was my tutor, but that doesn't cover it. After my parents passed, he looked after me. The whole brotherhood brought me up, really, but he made sure of it. I never had a grandfather, not that I knew, anyway. But Elijah was in some ways what I'd imagine a grandfather to be. I don't know. Last time anyone saw him was in the battle at Helios 1. I wasn't there. He gave orders to hold the plant until he could be reactivated. But he ran out of time. The NCR overran it. Everyone thought he was dead. But I got a note from him at a comm station. That's how he liked to talk, even to me. He wasn't good at face-to-face. It was strange. I don't want to say delusional, but I don't know what else to call it. The only thing familiar about it was the signature. He said the Brotherhood was doomed, but that he'd return, save us. But the way he said it, I don't know. Said he'd return with one of the greatest treasures of the old world, make the Mojave like it was meant to be. Wipe the slate clean.
Report. Is Mr. Ha- Then that's one more nuisance we won't have to worry about. The Brass have been throwing around the idea of having the President visit the dam for a while. With our recent achievements, they finally feel secure enough to stage the damn thing. But while it's being planned, I have one last mission for you. Several years ago, we managed to wrest the Helios One solar power station from the Brotherhood of Steel chapter local to this area. It was a crushing victory, but no one's heard a peep from the Brotherhood since. Most people assume the Brotherhood is scattered and not a threat. Recently, we've had scouts go missing in an area west of Helios, and I'm concerned that the Brotherhood is involved. I want you to find them, and once you do, finish them for good. Any questions? No. Just because you secured the aid of the Khans, assuming they don't try to kill us, don't think the... These are people that both hate us and outgun us. They're con... Dismissed. Download complete. Begin recording. Navarro Outpost Scientist, I am glad that EDE has reached you. You will find several data banks of information on this machine. information with the utmost care as it represents the sum total of the results of my research on the Duraframe iBots. There are also several data banks with information on my research into Poseidon Energy and some projects they were working on in the Mojave area. Wish I could have been there to see Caesar die. What an ass. Greetings, my friend. I hope I can be of some assistance to you. I suppose it was only a matter of time. 
I wonder if, given the NCR's current situation, they would consider a truce of sorts. We've given up our claim to Helios, and we don't have any interest in claiming Hoover Dam, so our ambitions are not at crossed purposes. Perhaps it's time for a new strategy. Go to the NCR commander and tell her the Brotherhood is willing to put aside our enmity for the time being. Further, tell her that we are willing to send troops to aid in their coming defense of the dam. My guess is they're in no position to refuse. <laughs>